welcome to the annual Homecoming Parade. I'm Grace Esquivel. And I'm Landry Long. Thank you so much for joining us. We are live in front of downtown Prosper to share insight on each flow and organization as they pass by. The PHS Homecoming Parade is one of the many ways PISD likes to highlight the amazing clubs, sports, and extracurriculars, and of course, the staff at PHS. Yes, you know, Prosper really values the safety of the community. And it's super awesome to see you know, them throwing out candy, loving their community, as well as protecting it. Exactly, Landry. Chief Blasting Game has been chief since 2017, but like I said, he has been serving the town of Prosper for over 20 years, which is quite a long time. Quite a long time. I don't know about you, Landry, but I for sure love the fight song. Hearing it after football games and getting the whole town hype, so fun. I mean, there is nothing better to just, you know, get that fight song going right after a big one, especially when over Rock Hill last week. Exactly. <laughs> this is actually the first year we've had the K-12 float with Dr. Holly Ferguson. She's been superintendent since 2020 and has worked for Prosper ISD for eight years. I know, looking at that float, there's not a lot of students on there. That's because how big Prosper is getting. So I'm so happy that we're really highlight highlighting those students who have seen going to see the growth that Prosper's had. I mean, they've been here since kindergarten and now almost graduating. So Mr. Jones, this has been his first year at Prosper High School and it is easy to say he's already left his mark on the school as a whole. I mean, look at him throwing out candy to everyone with that big smile. Exactly, Landry, he brought the say the Prosper High School, the flagship <laughs> school. And I know students, especially me at Prosper, love this saying. Following, we have the principal of rushing admin, Daniel Wallace. And while rushing has only been open for a couple of years, Ms. Wallace has actually been at Prosper ISD for over 15 years. That is crazy, and I think that's awesome because she's gotten to work at both Rogers Middle School and Reynolds Middle School. So she's really gotten to see that growth and also taken what she's learned from both middle schools and applying that to the new rushing middle school. That's so interesting to think about, Landry, because I bet she knows so many students at Prosper High School if she's worked at all three schools <laughs> that feed into Prosper High. Right, and I think you can see she's waving, she's throwing candy. I mean, she knows the community of Prosper. Landry, do you see what's coming up next? I think it's the engineering team. And is that a robot I see? That is so cool. I wonder what that does. I think they just told me that it <laughs> shoots out dodgeballs. Wow. It's also crazy to see how many students are involved in Prosper basketball. That, that flow is overflowing. I mean, they're handing out candy, have the basketballs themselves. Super awesome to see. We talked earlier about how the kids love candy and I'm glad that Prosper basketball is feeding into that love. That's all we have for you tonight. Thanks for tuning in to the live Prosper High School homecoming parade coverage provided by Eagle Nation News. I'm Grace Oscobo. And I'm Landry Long. We hope you have a great homecoming. And we just wanted to give a huge shout out to all the people behind the scenes from e and students to Prosper staff who helped make this parade possible. And just like always, Go, go Eagles! Eagles.